Yep, you heard that right, folks. We have news on the Hades 2 development from Supergiant Games. It's great. It's great to get some news, but it's I would I would argue it's it's not the most I don't know. It doesn't make me the happiest to read it, though in some ways, in some ways it does. Let's let's take a look at it though. Let's take a look at what we got. So Hades development update, September 14th. Back when we first revealed Hades 2 at the Game Awards in 2022, we said to expect more information on our plans for early access sometime in 2023. Uh, more information, you say? I thought you said that we'd be playing. Well, whatever, that's okay. It's time we shed some light on those plans. We can now confirm we're planning for Hades 2 to launch early access quarter to 2024. Quarter to 2024. So sometime in April, May, or June, we'll be getting our hands on Hades 2 to play. Uh, thank you. Let's see. Oh, on Steam and Epic. So both. We have more details in the exact date prices. We're close to that time. Hey, that would be great. I would love to get a little bit of information before you just drop it. Because as a <laughs> as a content creator, it's nice to have a little bit of warning. Anyway, thank you for your patience as we gear up for this launch. You may be wondering, why can't we launch an early access like right now? The game looks pretty far along in the first trailer. The reason is Hades 2 will have at least as much content from day one in early access as the original game did back when it launched in early access on Steam. And for those of you who don't know, Hades was originally on Epic. I think it was on Epic for about nine, nine months at least it was on Epic. Uh, so all of that stuff is going to have as much as that, all that development that had happened in those nine months when it launches for both Epic and Steam. I think it's a really good move to go with Epic and Steam. Having it be only on the Epic Store kind of, it, it kind of rubbed some people the wrong way, depending on your opinions about the whole thing. So I'm glad that they're going with both platforms to start. However, that probably does that. That's probably why we're getting it a little bit later this time. So I guess it's a it's I think it's a positive, though. Um, this is much content. And even though early access inherently means a game is not yet complete, we still want to do everything we can to make sure Hades 2 is worth your while as soon as you can play it in any capacity. And that was actually something that I noticed about the first Hades when I picked it up. I picked it up pretty much right away, started playing it and noticed that it was I mean this was already a game that was better than most of the roguelikes I'd played up to that point even in that early access stage like it was so much fun you could play it over and over and over again and it was just it was enjoyable right out of the gates uh, obviously needed some polish but we we expected that but it already had some amazing systems and it just felt good to play so super giant games is one of those companies that knows how to do early access right they know that they've got to they've got to get a good product out to people you can't just send your partially completed project and and it, that it's just going to work a lot of companies have done that and it and it hasn't gone well but Supergiant did a great job, I think, with their early access with Hades, and I expect nothing less with Hades 2. I think that they're just, they keep leveling up their game, each each new game that they release, so I'm excited about that. Okay, prior to that, the Hades 2 technical test. So in quarter two, 2024, shortly before the launch, in early access, we're going to run a technical test with a limited sample of players. The purpose of this test will be to find and solve any technical or compatibility issues we might have missed to ensure everyone, anyone who tries Hades 2 in early access can have a smooth play experience. To that end, this technical test will contain much less content than what's in store in the early access launch and likely be limited only to a relatively small subset of players who express interest in participating. We'll announce more details about the Hades 2 technical test closer to when it's ready. I mean... Let me send you my specs. I've got kind of an unusual system, you know. I've, I could, I could stress, I could stress your your game a little bit, right? I've got like a middling CPU with a 3070 GPU. I mean, what do you say? Let's get it. Let's do this, <laughs> right? I mean, come on, uh, you know, you throw throw me a bone. Uh, let's keep going though. Uh, more about early access and beyond. Early access was vitally important to the entire idea behind original Hades. We decided it would be an early access game before deciding literally anything else about it. That's kind of crazy to me. They didn't even have the idea for the game, but they were like, okay, we just finished Pyre, let's do an early access game. 
I don't, I, you know, I'm not a developer, but that's that really surprised me when I read that. Like you, that's what that's your inspiration, and you know, at first, right? And I get it. Like it keeps a hype ball rolling, if you will. I guess there's there's a sense in which you can have like release after release after release. In a sense, it, it's almost like you're adding your own like DLC content rolled up in the early access process and then you don't feel like a scumball you know throwing the dlc and and uh later on and making people pay for it i don't <laughs> that maybe i maybe i'm putting in that too strongly but i think that this is a great I, I think this is a great thing if you think about like they can they can put out new releases with new characters and it's already a well-polished game people are enjoying the base game and you keep adding the things in before it's done and we saw that with Hades, actually, that once they had finished the early access and it was released, they did a couple balance patches, but they really did not add any significant content from that point on. So we had that whole period to get new stuff and, and excitement uh, as, as different patches came out with themed around different characters. I mean, if you didn't get involved with the Hades 1 early access, you absolutely should get in on the ground floor with Hades 2 because they do it so well. They make it so exciting. They tell you when this new update is coming. They give you teasers. They they did an amazing job with Hades and I was always so excited. I would I had it on my calendar. When is the next update coming, you know, going live? I I was really really excited by the way that they did Hades. So it's it's a cool thing. I think you should if you've never done an early access game, let this be the first one. And I'm guessing you'll have a good experience. Uh, we've approached developing Hades 2. Knowing early access will be no less important this time, though now knowing a bit more of what to expect from early access development, as well as more about what a Hades game needs to be. Mm -hmm. I it's going to be amazing, you guys. We believe the time frame we're planning for will be the sweet spot where the game is far enough along that player feedback won't mostly consist of stuff we already know isn't there yet, but isn't so far along that it's too late in development for us to act on the feedback we receive. That's really interesting. That makes me wonder what what sort of feedback they got when Hades uh, when the when Hades launched, right? Like <laughs> what did I mean so like if, when Hades first launched, they didn't have like a lot of the characters didn't have their artwork done. Uh, I wonder. I wonder how many people were like, "Um, you're not done. You didn't. You didn't get. You don't have artwork for Dionysus. You don't have artwork for Charon. You don't have art artwork for Sisyphus." Like, I wonder if there were people that that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, maybe. But like, how obnoxious would that be? Like, okay, your job is to go through the feedback for the day, and it's like, uh, yeah, we had 753 people tell us that we didn't have artwork for Artemis completed yet. Um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> like, how 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 uh, difficult or annoying would that be to just go through that many? Anyway, they can act on the feedback they receive. I'm so excited to give my feedback once again. I'm there for that technical test. If you need someone, get me in there. I'm I'm your guy. I'll keep it under wraps if you want, or I'll tell I'll, I'll tell people what's going on. I'm I'm. You can trust me. You can trust me. I, 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 you really can. You really can trust me. That wink wink was. Uh, Please let me play. <laughs> Similar to how we approach early access with the original, following our Hades 2 early access launch, we'll have several major updates, adding the rest of the game's core content and refining what's there based on player feedback. The story will expand with each update as we introduce more characters and deepen relationships with existing ones. The process will culminate in our V1.0 launch, which will feature the conclusion to the story and any other finishing touches. We don't yet know exactly how long it will take us to get to version 1.0 of Hades 2, as our experience developing in early access has taught us, among many other things, to expect the unexpected. For now, our focus is to keep building core content, environments, characters, weapons, boons, story events, music, and more as we gear up for our technical test and early access launch in quarter two this coming year. Thank you again for your patience and support. So some of us might be a little bit frustrated. Uh, anytime you feel like a game is delayed, there's there's a sense in which obviously we're disappointed. Obviously, I'm, I'm bummed that I don't get to play Hades 2 earlier. However, I trust Supergiant Games and maybe that makes me maybe that makes me a fanboy shill. Call call me that if you if you if you must. I, I trust Supergiant Games to put together an amazing game. They've done it over and over again. And I if this is how long they need, then I say we we 
allow them the time that they are asking for and and let's not pressure them <laughs> into doing something and i don't think that they'll i don't think that they'll care if there's people who, of course there are gonna be people who are yell about how they hate that it's delayed and whatnot but i think I think we need to grab our self-control. As I say, I'm a school counselor, so grab your self-control and <laughs> and be patient, right? This is a chance to practice your patience. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll stop. But <laughs> that we, we can, uh, we'll, we'll enjoy it when it comes out and it's gonna be great. And um, I just appreciate that they said it. They, they've said something after, gosh, yeah, nine, nine months of, of radio silence. We, we get a little bit more information and at least it's more than just two, you know, one year. Like they've given us a quarter, so we have a we have a window of three months. I I feel great. I'm so excited. Let me know in the comments how you're feeling. What what are you most excited about? I mean, we got some new characters. I'm loving the new main character. I think she looks super cool. A little ghost arm is amazing. <laughs> but let me know in the comments what you think. Quarter two, 2024. Let's get excited. All right, see you guys later. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.